Good evening students, today I want to show you how to do a neck past paper question. Remember in the previous video I have shown you how to look for the CP, the module, the thickness, the clearance, the dendrum, the PCD, the dendrum circle diameter and the addendum circle diameter. Now I actually want to show you how to actually put these things into machine and how to apply these formulas actually in an instance when a question is given to you. And with me, I have mobilized a neck question paper which is 20 marks and the question asks a pair of machine gears having a module of six if there are 18 teeth of the pinion and 24 teeth on the wheel construct three teeth in mesh and two teeth of the pinion in mesh at a pressure angle of 20 degrees now the very first thing when you're given such a question you you look for the cp the module the thickness the clearance the dendrum the pcd you come look for the dendrum circle diameter and look for the addendum circle diameter so what do we do in this instance and in this case so first we look for the cp what is the cp the cp is equals to mo pi times module the cp is also is equals to pi times module which is one which is 3.142 times 6 or 22 over 7 times 6 which will be 18.85 if you do it in your calculator you look for the module the module is always equals to addendum what is our module in our question? It is 6. So the addendum is 6 and the module is 6 because module and addendum are always the same or equal. Then you look for the thickness. Thickness is equal to CP divided by 2. What is our CP? Our CP was 18.85. If you divide it by 2, it will be 9.42. That becomes the thickness. Then look for the clearance. The clearance is equal to CP divided by 20 which is equal to 18.85 divided by 20, which will be equal to 0 0.942. You actually use the formula and I put the figures in it. But the basic thing that you have looked for, it is the CP. The CP I've told you is equal to pi times module. After we found our CP, we were able to look for the thickness and we were able to look for the clearance. After we knew our module, we were able to look for the CP. That is how these formulas are very crucial. And that is why you should be very careful when dealing with such equations. Now, I want us now to look at the dendrum. The dendrum, how to look for the dendrum? The dendrum is always equal to clearance plus addendum. Our clearance, we have found here, it is 0 0.942. So it is 0 0.942 plus 6. We will find our dendrum. Dendrum is very crucial when we are looking for the dendrum circle diameter. Realize, dendrum is different from dendrum circle diameter. We use dendrum to look for the dendrum circle diameter. Then we look for the PCD. The PCD is always equal to number of teeth times module. The number of teeth in the wheel and the number of teeth in the pinion. We look for it separately. We use separate methods. For instance, here we have the PCD for the wheel. The PCD for the wheel will be equal to the number of teeth of the wheel times the module. The number of teeth, the PCD of the wheel will be equal to 24 times 6 because the number of teeth in the wheel is 24 and the module is 6. So our PCD of the wheel, the PCD of the wheel will be equal to 144. Then we look for separately the PCD of the pinion. The PCD of the pinion is different because the number of teeth in pinion and the wheel is different. So, the number of teeth in the pinion is 18. So, looking for the formula and looking for the PCD for the pinion will be equal to 18 times 6, which our PCD of the pinion will be 108. Then, the next feature we look for is for the dendrum circle diameter. Like I have told you, we use the dendrum to look for the dendrum circle diameter. So, we want to look for the dendrum circle diameter of the wheel. We have different, different dendrum circle diameter in this particular case because we have the pinion and the wheel. So first we look for the dendrum circle diameter of the wheel, which is equal to PCD minus 2 D dendrum. Our D dendrum in this case was zero was 6.942. So you say 2 times 6.942, 2 times 6.942, which is 144 minus 2, 6.142, this 130.116. Then we go ahead and look for the dendrum circle diameter of the pinion, of the pinion. In this case, we use the PCD of the pinion. The PCD of the pinion was 108, as we have seen. And so, we minus 2 dendrum. The dendrum was 6.942. So, you say 2 times 6.942, and you find that the dendrum circle diameter of the pinion is 94.116.
Then the next feature we look for, which is the final feature that we look for, is the addendum circle diameter of the wheel. You start with the wheel. The wheel will be the PCD of the wheel plus two addendum. Addendum, we found that it was six. So it is 144 plus two times six, which will be 156.00. Then we look for the addendum circle diameter of the pinion. The addendum circle of the pinion, we use the PCD of the pinion plus two addendum. What was our PCD of the pinion? It was 108 plus two times six. The addendum was the same, it is six. It was the same as the module, which will be 120.00. The next thing that you do, which is the final thing that you do, you prepare a table so that you are able to refer when you are drawing because we have to draw the profile. The question is saying draw a profile, construct three teeth in a mesh. So you prepare a table. The module of the wheel, the module of the pinion, it is the same. It is six, six. The number of teeth is 24 and 18. The pressure angle we are told is 20, 20. The thickness as we have calculated is the same, both in the wheel and both in the pinion. The clearance, as we have calculated, we found it is the same in the wheel and in the pinion. The dedendum is the same as we have calculated. It is 6.942, 6.94, which is the same. But where the difference comes in is in the PCD, the dedendum circle diameter, and the addendum circle diameter. They are different. Why? The PCD of the wheel, we found that it is 144, but the PCD of the pinion is 108. Based on the formulas, as we have put figures and used in the formula, that's the outcome of the of, of our results. Then we have the dendum circle diameter, which is 130.142 and 94.12, using the formula that we have that I've just shown you. And the dendum circle diameter, use the formula, you will find they are different. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to actually construct. Please subscribe.